YouTubers, I want to welcome you to another edition of Bargain Bin Gear. And this is part three of the small tube guitar amps. And first a quick update on the Bugera V5. Well, I was thrilled with the amp. And it sounded great, but then all of a sudden it started squealing and distorting. And I was going, man, what is this? Right? I mean, a terrible sound. Just really unusable. And as it turns out, it was a the Bugera 12AX7 went bad. In fact, here it is. Right? For whatever reason, it just suddenly went bad. Now, luckily for me, I had an EHX 12AX7 electro harmonics, uh, which is probably a better quality tube anyway. And I was keeping my fingers crossed that uh, that would solve the problem, and certainly it did. You know, I got back the great sound that I had on it, you know. And remember, these are demo units, so who knows how they've been treated, you know, uh, as far as the tube goes. Uh, but hopefully they'll replace the tube, you know, send me one to replace the electro harmonics that I had to use in there. Considering I just got the amp, I mean, but um, you know, as truth is, on tube amps, I really like to change the tube out at least once, so I know how to do it. You know, that'll come in handy in the future. And with the Bugera, it just has a little cage that you remove and that kind of thing. And you don't have to remove the speaker or anything like that. So it worked out uh, fine, basically. Uh, and luckily, it was just a 12AX7 and not the power tube. So, And I mean, these can be had for, what, $11, $12 or something like that. Okay. So, very pleased with that. Now, I did something unheard of for me. Um, I bought these little tiny Bugera T5 heads, right? Primarily based on their size and looks. <laughs> If you can believe it. They're so cute. You can't resist. Right? And basically, they're just like a, uh, a Bugera V5. I was hoping that because it has built-in reverb and it's tiny. Right? You saw it in the unboxing. So they've arrived, and we're going to have an unboxing here. Now, don't try this at home. Only trained professionals should attempt. My goodness, what is this? Hmm. This is going to require an unboxing. Please don't try this at home. Only trained professionals should attempt. Let's see what we've got here. Oh boy. The box says Happy New Gear Day. Oh my 
goodness. There's two boxes inside. Wonder what these could be. Hmm. Hold on a second. There's another box inside. This. Wow. Okay. Keep on going here. Oh. What is this? Look at this. A power cable. This is the Bugera T5. 5 watt head. And it's so tiny. My goodness. It's heavy, but it's tiny. Look at this. You got your input jack, gain, fat switch, treble, bass, reverb, built in, volume, and a power switch. There we go. Boy. Man. This is awesome. Look at this. Metal casing. Huge handle. And let's see. Now wait a minute, this looks exactly like the V5, the back of the V5 as far as here, All right? That's to, that's the output, 5 watt, 1 watt, 0 0.01 watt attenuator, a headphone jack, a tube health, light, and power switch. And by the way, the tube health light uh, replace tube when lit I believe is only for the power tube and does not uh, affect the preamp tube in any case very much like the V5 except it's a little tiny head now this is unbelievably small wow that is the coolest thing I've ever seen Holy smokes. And there's two of them. In other words, a stereo pair. Right? And you plug this into your um, cabinet, speaker cabinet. 
So it's a real head, but it's, it's just tiny. How cool is that? Wow. I'm just blown away by the look anyway. Really looks great. Holy smoky. Now, hopefully, I get the same results as the V5 as far as the clean sound goes. You know, the same kind of volume and tone and everything and, and lack of breakup that the V5 has. We will find out here. How cool is that? All right, here's the second one. Oh, my goodness. Let's see, go. What is this brand spanking new? There we go. Well, there they are, a pair of Bugera T5s, and I'm hoping that it's exactly like the V5, sound-wise and volume-wise, and especially clean headroom-wise, uh, but we'll see. Now, one thing that the, uh, the T5 head has that the V5 doesn't have is a fat switch right here. See that? So we'll investigate that as well. And I was about to return these if they had failed to include some complimentary candy. But I see that they did include a package of complimentary candy. Look at these. Wow. Look at that. A bit of honey. Uh, let's see what else we have here. What is that? Laffy Taffy. Okay. There it is. Uh, I think those are root beer. Root beer dads. Wow. How cool is that, really? That's great. I'm totally blown away by these. These are, they're so small. I mean, my goodness. Though they're kind of heavy. And they seem really sturdy. You know, metal. So I guess the next step is to find a cabinet that'll work with these now basically it's a 4 ohm amp really but I believe you can mismatch the ohmage with an 8 ohm cabinet and possibly a 16 ohm you know it's not ideal but you know for the moment that's what I have you know all right, very cool, we'll see. Okay, so they're really amazingly small, right? And yet they still have built-in reverb. And I wish other companies would learn that, you know? And, and, and the reverb is pretty decent on it, too. Now, it's a, a 4 ohm amp, right? As I mentioned, so I've got it plugged into an 8 ohm cabinet with a 12 inch uh, speaker. It's a Weber speaker. 
what is it, a 12 a one twenty five a I believe, is the speaker name. It's in a VHT cabinet. Um, just a 12-inch cabinet. And that was what I was hoping, is that I'd get the same kind of clean sound out of the, that I got out of the Bugera V5, right? And remember, 5 watt amps, uh, especially heads, I haven't had much luck as far as clean sounds go. They would always distort prematurely and really quickly, right? Which is not what I want. I wanted a clean sound, right? Well, By the way, a real quick disclaimer, I am using my uh, little crossover and using a bass amp which adds a little bit more low end to the sound, so keep that in mind. Check this out. Unbelievable. So you get that clean sound, uh, volume uh, is fine as well. clean sound it's not um, breaking up or anything now the Bugera has a, a trick up its sleeve here the little T5 which is not found on the V5 interestingly enough right I mean they're very similar however the T5 has a fat switch and it's, it's kind of like a presence almost Right, it kind of a, a boost almost. Right, if we take a listen. <coughs> okay, that's without the boost. Let me turn it on. Now here's with the boost. too hard it's gonna um, distort you know it's kind of
it's also louder, you know, and it's, it's nice to have, for me, I probably won't use it all that often, you know, I much prefer the, that clean sound, you know, uh, however, it's nice that it's there. $219 new. I mean, that's amazing for what you get. I mean, you get a full-fledged tube amp with built-in reverb, 5 watt, right, for $219. And it looks great. You know, and it sounds great, too. You know, depending on what cabinet you plug it into, you know. Uh, in fact, if you really wanted to go small, you could get one of the little 8-inch orange cabinets. The PCC-108, I believe, is the model number, right? And it's a little eight inch cabinet, orange cabinet. They go for about a hundred bucks. Somewhere in there, new. You know, um, so that would be a great fit with this one if you wanted really small cabinet. And as you'll recall, I have those solid state orange amps, right? And I had. Um, wanted to to go tube instead you know for little coffee house types of things well here i can have the best of both worlds i can have the tube amp and the orange little cabinet which would be very similar to the um, little combo amps that i have here and the fat switch is a nice addition you know, for a boost things. And in fact, for me, because I like a clean sound, what I could do is turn on the fast switch and turn down the gain. Let's try that. really 
big sound. I was definitely not as warm, you know, as the non-boosted sound without the pad switch. there though because man when you engage 
my pedal board, alright, all of a sudden it's this huge sound. $219. I mean, you just can't argue with that. Now, granted, you have to add a cabinet, right? And depending on that, you know, you could spend whatever. I mean, it, it'll run a 4x12, a 2x12, a 1x12. It just did that, you know. As far as even smaller cabinets, uh, Joyo makes one called a... 
is a weird name, is a pant amp or something like that. It's a cabinet, um, it's all metal, would fit very well with that as well. I think it has an eight inch speaker. So it's pretty compact. And of course the orange cabinets would work really well with that, a little eight inch speaker. And those orange uh, speakers are really decent. I mean, they're, they're not junk, you know, they can get pretty loud for, for the size anyway. You know, and of course, just your standard, you know, 12 inch cabinets would be very interesting. Now there is one thing I do want to try, and that is I have these Vox cabinets, and they have a green back in the speaker, but they're 16 ohm, and uh, let's find out if the Bugera can handle that without complaining too much. So hold on a second. Okay, I've got it plugged into the 16 ohm. Vox cabinet and it seems to be working great.
this kind of sound out of these little <laughs> Babugera 5 waters. Pretty amazing, really. For 200 bucks, you can't do better, really. I mean, I'm just, wow. Totally blown away. I have to admit, it's really impressive. Um, and for some reason, it sounds uh, better and louder through the Vox, running at 16 ohm, you know. Even though it's a four ohm amp. Fantastic. So I highly, highly recommend. Just as I do the V5s, if you're looking for pedal platform kind of clean sound. You know. I mean I'm not even gonna try the overdriven sound, you know. Uh, if I'm gonna do that kind of thing I'd get it through a pedal anyway. So Fantastic. Man, the quality of sound is really impressive. And no one would ever guess, man, that you can get this kind of sound out of um, these little Bougueras. Now keep in mind I'm using pedals from my pedal board as well. You know, so it sounds even bigger. You know, when you play it without pedals, it's kind of I mean, the, the quality is there, but it's just not as big sounding. So there you go. I'm perfectly pleased. And man, the price is unbelievable, really. $219. I mean, think about that. That's the cost of a set of tubes for a deluxe reverb. Right? And here you're getting the entire amp. Granted, it's only five watts, you know, but through a cabinet, it sounds much bigger than that, you know. I mean, you really probably could gig with this, with a drummer even, as long as it, you know, it didn't play too loudly, you know. Now, I'm not talking about, like, you know, a Motley Crue <laughs> concert where... You know, you hear the bass drum and it's just this gigantic, huge sound, you know. But a light drummer could possibly do that. Especially, remember, we've got two of them. So in stereo, it would be quite a big amp. I'm quite impressed with it. All right, see you next time. Okay.